Today we're working on upgrading the 486 computer. I've got a few different parts to work on. I haven't tested any of them. I'm not absolutely sure any of them are going to work, but we'll see how it goes. Let's take a closer look at each thing here. We've got this TAC dual floppy drive here. It's got a slot for five and a quarter and three and a half in the same drive. I'm not absolutely sure uh, how it hooks up or how it's going to show up in BIOS or you know, if it's going to be two different drives. I don't think it would be. I guess it's probably going to be one drive. But I found this thing at a yard sale actually and it was just a box kind of full of random drives and a few other things. Uh, and the whole box is only five dollars so but i haven't tested it yet so we'll see if it works at that same yard sale i got this tape drive it came with all the software and a tape and everything so i'm going to try to get this one to actually work the one that's in it currently i don't have any of the software or a tape for sure that i know that works with it or or anything like that so having everything here i think i'm going to be able to get it to work if it does work Next, we've got a Sound Blaster 16, and this is the CT1750, the Sound Blaster 16 MCD. So it's got the the connections for the proprietary CD drives that were around at the time. So I believe I could hook up my Mitsumi drive through this, um, but I'm probably just not going to do that. I'm probably just going to put the uh, the use it for the sound for right now and leave the the CD-ROM card that is working with it right now in it since it's working but this should be an upgrade from the Sound Blaster Pro 2 that's in it and this thing I haven't tested it at all like I said earlier and it was only five dollars at a flea market and hopefully it works this is a Sound Blaster uh, or well a creative video blaster and it seems to have come with pretty much everything that it needs. Uh, let's see. Here's got the manual, registration card. Seems like an extra set of papers that they put in with it. Uh, the latest information that they left out of the manual, I guess. It's got the discs in it. Hopefully they work. This one looks like it's a little sun faded, which probably isn't a good sign. And here's the actual card here. It's a pretty big card. Oh, so what this thing actually is, when I when I first got it, I actually thought it might have been might be some weird video card, but what it actually is is a capture card. So you can I guess, I haven't tried it yet. We'll see how it goes, but take these and hook them up to your uh, VCR and capture your VCR onto your Windows machine or any other kind of composite device I suppose and it's got these two I think this is the feature cable we'll go through the manual and see how everything works here and lastly We'll see if we can install uh, Microsoft Office. I think this is the, the first version. I found it at the thrift store the other day, and it has a lot of disks to install it. I'm sure that some of these are not going to be working, and it's not going to let us finish the installation. <clears throat> But we're going to give it a shot just for fun anyway. Let's see. I wonder how many discs exactly there is. 20. Looks like 20, maybe. Looks like 20 discs. So we'll see how long that takes. That'll be fun. And I think these two other pullouts are just manuals. So we're going to start taking it apart and getting things installed and set up. But if you want to see how the computer is currently set up, I have another video that I did previously that you can check out on my channel. So I've got it just about finished off here. You can see we've got the sound cards in here and it just barely clears the, the CPU's cooler. It's almost sitting on top of it there. Um, the drive, the floppy drive and the tape drive are in up top. 
but we're having a little bit of a problem with the video blaster card. The the main thing being that this feature cable is not long enough to reach the connector on the video card. Let's see here. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. The feature cable on the video card is right here and the connector on the video blaster is over here and this cable is just not long enough to make it. So I could try using a different video card that has it over here but I remembered that a couple of years ago I was at an auction of an old electronics business and I had bought a big box of old connectors and I dug through it and found these and they're the right the right pin number and so I should be able to make one make a cable out of these and the an old floppy cable or something all right here's the new cord I made and it should work just fine and the back I wanted to show you how it's hooked up the the monitor goes into the video blaster card and it gets a signal from the VGA card goes into the video blaster and then these are the inputs and it looks like it's got three you can have three different audio or three different video inputs and then here's the left and right audio so we got it to boot up with the video blaster with the video running through the the, the uh, video blaster at least so maybe it's working that's good um, but first let's check out this funny drive uh, let me just slip in a boot disk real quick on the top one which is the three and a half drive and it looks like it sees it and it's working so right now in setup I've just got it set up as A and it being a three and a half inch 1.44 megabyte drive so I'm not sure if it maybe it automatic I'm starting to think now that maybe it automatically uh, sets up slave and master thing inside of it and you're just supposed to set up that set it up as A and B so I think we're gonna try that real quick we'll restart here and go into setup so B make a 1.2 megabyte five and a quarter drive all right, we'll check the A drive again, make sure it's still working correctly. And I'll just leave that disk in and put this floppy, and we'll see if it's at B. Seems like it's trying to read something. All right, cool. Great, so that thing seems to be working just like it should be. Oh wow, that the five and a quarter inch floppy disk ejects just like a, a three and a quarter inch floppy. It's a really neat mechanism. All right, I think next we'll see if this video blaster works. All right, we have the video blaster disk here. Let's uh, see read me first here. All right, and this is the same thing that's printed out go ahead and install it says we can test our card with vbtest.exe in the vblaster directory let's see here testing in progress testing testing Well, maybe I should uh, put an input to it and see what happens. Well, I've got the VCR hooked up and running and I can already hear the sound coming through. Let's see here, display control test. This tape might not be good. I haven't tested this tape before. Seems like it's picking it up there. It's picking up the stop and I'm pretty certain this one works. 
Oh, yep, look at that. This is uh, Jules Verne's Journey to the Center of the Earth. Wow, this is pretty cool. I've actually got it working there. Let's see, we can test the color here, I guess. Maximum, minimum, medium, maximum. So brightness has three settings, okay. <laughs> Let's try the red component. Medium. Maximum. Okay. Minimum. Alright, medium. So I guess it's testing. Max green, minimum. Okay, green. Alright. Freeze and unfreeze test. Let's see. Freeze and unfreeze this video by pressing enter. Freeze. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can freeze frame and everything. Take pictures, and it just jumps to wherever the video is playing when you press enter again, I guess. I guess we should move on to installing the Windows applications. Well, let's boot into Windows, and it says it should start up a setup for us. Alright, well, that was easy. Well, let's see what we can do here. Well, it seems that I was expecting a little too much from this. Uh, looking through the manual, this only captures images. I mean, we can freeze it. And then we can save this image. It doesn't look like we can uh, save video at all. Let's see, save that. We can save it as a JPEG even. We'll see if this one works. This is Richard Simmons sweating to the oldies too. Hopefully it works. Oh man. It seems like it's coming in real clear. We'll see if we can take a few captures and This is just great. Let's see if we can get a good freeze frame. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if we can smooth in a little bit, maybe. Didn't seem like it did anything to me. We'll save this one. That ends back. I think that's enough fun for the video blaster. That's pretty good. I'm happy with it. It was only five bucks at a flea market, so I think I'm definitely satisfied. Let's install the sound drivers. First I'm copying over all the files and then I'm going to install it from there. Because that's how it's supposed to be done. Uh oh. Seems like it worked. Alright, and then we'll go over to where the files are and make sure they're there. And we'll go ahead and run and 
stolen. We'll reboot and see how it works out. I don't think all the settings are correct. I only have it hooked up to the right right now. So I guess we can't test the left, but it seems to be working there. So 16 that works. I'll just assume the left works. So it seems like we've got that working now. Alright, I think we're gonna try to get this tape drive to work. And it looks like it might be fun to do from Windows. We'll try that. Put in the first disc here. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Oh wait, what? Oh, you know what? I don't have this thing plugged in yet. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, we're back and I've got the tape drive hooked up. Unfortunately, it hooks up through a floppy drive cable, so we can't have the, the floppy drive and it hooked up at the same time, it doesn't look like. So we'll see if it shows up here. Oh, there we go. Configure. Uh, add a device. All right, searching. All right, it looks like it found it. Here's the tape that we have. It says it's 120 megabytes. It's a pretty neat looking tape. It's got a whole thick aluminum piece on the back. It's a pretty serious looking thing. It's reading it. Make some pretty neat noises. Okay. All right, compatibility test completed. Let's back up this uh, the video blaster file. Pictures we captured on it. Where the tape drive? How to back it up? Did the default. All right, let's start. Video Blaster. Okay. Okay.
Well, it looks like we got it all backed up here. And I guess it works. So, or, well, we backed up the one file there. So it looks like this tape drive works pretty good. I think we'll move on to trying to see if all these Windows Office disks work. All right, Microsoft Office. Here's the stack of disks. Got 20 disks. Let's see if they work. My camera died about halfway through the install of Office, but it successfully installed and got through all 20 discs. All of them worked. I was pretty amazed. Uh, and here's Microsoft Office. Here, we'll open up Word. This seems like it's got plenty of functionality, and we probably didn't really need any versions any newer than this, anyway. Well, I think that's all I had to do to this computer today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And if you like this computer in particular, I've got another video about it that you can see on my channel. Thanks for watching.